How do I add more detail to my normal maps in Unreal Editor? If you've been creating materials, you might think to yourself, hey, it would be nice if when I got right up on a material, you could really see all the little tiny cracks and crevices in it. And I'm going to bring together a series of little tricks and tips to make this happen and show you how it's done. Let's start off by opening the generic browser. And inside of this, I have a very, very simple material that I have created through a couple of these How Do I videos called Demo Material. And if we open this up inside the, me the material, editor we have a simple texture sample with color another texture sample with a normal and really that's all this material contains what I want to do is create another normal map that has little tiny cracks and crevices and we'll combine the two together so let's create a new texture sample with control C control V and let's go get our new normal map so I'm gonna click on the show generic browser button and your detail textures are available to you in the UN underscore detail text package that uh, ships with Unreal Tournament 3. I'm going to select Crackle 7. We'll close out the generic browser, and I'll go ahead and use current selection in browser to assign that. Now, what I want is for this new normal map to be tiled several times, because the more times it tiles, the smaller it will appear, the more detail we're going to actually have. So to do that, I'm going to bring in a texture coordinate. So we'll just select texture coordinate from the list and drag it in. I'm going to move it right behind our texture sample. Now I'm holding down control and dragging with the left mouse button to move that around. Let's just plug this right into our UVs just by dragging a wire in between the two. I'll select my texture coordinate and I'll set U tiling and V tiling both to four. Now of course that controls the number of times you tile in the U and V texture directions. Now what we need to do is combine the information from these two normal maps to basically form a new single normal map. And it's not just as simple as adding the two together because if we add the two, the blue information, which is kind of our depth information, will also get added and we'll lose some of our depth. What we need to do is just add the red and the green information from this normal map into our existing base normal map. In order to make that happen, we're gonna start off by multiplying our current uh, detail texture by a constant three vector. So let's grab a constant three vector, <clears throat> excuse me. And I'm gonna set red and green to one. Blue, I'm gonna leave at zero. So we're actually multiplying the blue value of this little tiny detail texture to zero, thereby removing the blue information. Now I'm gonna bring in a multiply node. There's a couple of ways to do this. You could drag a multiply node out of your list. Over here, just drag that right in. You could right click and choose uh, multiply from the list here. Or you can hold down the M key, M is in Michael, and then left click and that will create a multiply as well. I'll hold on control and drag this up a little bit. Let's also control drag our little uh, constant three vector over. Let's connect the constant three vector to input B. We'll connect our texture sample to input A. And we have a result that we are now ready to add to our current normal map. Now I'm going to bring in an add node again with a shortcut. I'm going to hold down the A key and left click and that brings in an add. Let's hold down control and just drag this up. We'll take our existing normal map and plug that into input A. The result of our new little mini network here will go into B. And now let's plug this final network into our normal and suddenly we get a lot more detail on our normal map. Now the cool thing here is you have a lot of control over how this detail appears. If there's a little bit too much, if it looks a little uh, too dense, you can always pull back on the tiling a little bit, maybe pull this down to two by two. And now it's not as sparse. If it's too deep, you can take your red and your green values and pull those down as well. So we can take red and green here and on our constant three vector and pull these down to maybe uh, 0.5 and 0.5. And now you'll notice the detail is still there, it's just not as deep. So by playing with these values, you have a lot of control over how this detail texture is applied, and that is how you add more detail to your normal map, which wraps up this How Do I video.